The sense of hearing is accomplished by a process known as auditory transduction. The ear converts sound waves in the air into electrical impulses, which can be interpreted by the brain. As sound enters the ear, it passes through the external auditory canal, where it meets the tympanic membrane. The tympanic membrane then vibrates in response to the sound. Yeah. Yeah, can't handle this. Sounds of a lower pitch, or frequency, produce a slower rate of vibration. And sounds of lower volume, or amplitude, produce a less dramatic vibration. Higher frequency sounds produce faster vibrations. The tympanic membrane is cone-shaped and articulates with a chain of three bones called the auditory ossicles. The three bones pivot together on an axis shown here in red. Through the ossicles, the vibrations of the tympanic membrane are transferred to the footplate of the stapes. The stapes moves with a piston which sends vibrations in the footwear pumping in the middle. The labyrinth is filled with a fluid called paraph. Due to the flexibility of a membrane called the round window, the stapes movement can displace the paralymph, allowing vibrations to enter the labyrinth. Specific areas along the basilar membrane move variably in response to different frequencies of sound. Lower frequencies vibrate the basilar membrane closer to the apex of the cochlea, whereas higher frequencies produce vibrations closer to the base. This arrangement is known as tonotopic organization. Together, this sequence of events is responsible for our acoustic perception of the world around us.